And so if anyone in here wants a 5X their income, become the greatest presenter ever, how do you do it? The cost of you not self-developing in yourself, the cost of you not, not doing it, not. If you don't do it, if you stay the same, what does your life look like? Right now. Presentation strategies. This one right here is huge. This is, what is presentation? Who does face-to-face -face sales in here? Raise your hand. Okay, phone, cool, you can take some of this. Face-to-face, -face. if somebody's with you, presentation, this is what this is. I put the way you present it is the way the client perceives it. Does that make sense? Everybody understands something. If someone says no to you when you present something to them, if they say no to you, the reason why they said no is because you presented it like an amateur. Luke, should I buy solar? Yes. Okay. Could you present solar different than someone else? Yes. The way you present it and the way they present it will be the way the client perceives it. You presented it in a way I wanted to say yes. He presented it in a way that I wanted to say no. Solar is good, but you're a great presenter, he's not. Does that make sense? Who's the presenter? Everybody remember this. You know the one thing that separates all of you in here? All of you, you, me, him, us all? The way we deliver everything. I am dangerous at delivery. You wanna win big? Gotta deliver. Andy, what's a delivery? Your proposal, your presentation, what you say. When you know it's gonna be more money than they wanna pay, what do you say? What do you look like? What, what does your eyes tell me? Do your eyes tell me it's too much? I see that everywhere. You know what I know? If you're scared, they're sure scared. And if solar's good, should everyone say yes? Why don't they say yes? Because not everybody's good at delivering it. Should everybody have a gym membership? Yeah. What about somebody that can't close someone on a gym membership? They didn't present it right. They didn't present it right. Is this, it, guys, it all comes down. It's a commodity, do you get it? Do you get it? It's a commodity. Now look, some gyms may be better than others, right? Some solar companies may install better than be better than others. Some coaching companies may be better than others, but the big difference is the person. It's the people. Now, if the product's a 10 on the inside, the presenter has to be a 10 as well. But what I've learned is that the products are a 10, the presenters are a two. And that's a problem. And so if anyone in here wants a 5X their income, become the greatest presenter ever. How do you do it? Well, number one, the way you present it is the way they perceive it. They only know how they feel based on the way that you made them feel. That's on you. So if they don't want to buy it, it's because you didn't make them want it. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. Where you present matters. It's the unfair tactical advantage. Does everybody see this? This is a mountain. Where do you want to be if you're a sniper? Down here or up there? I want to be here. I don't want to be looking up there. I want the tactical advantage. What's the tactical advantage? Positioning. It's always positioning. You guys have heard this. And by the way, I'm not asking you to be me. But if I was, I'm going to, because I used to talk about solar. But if I was presenting solar, I'd be like, okay, ma'am, I've got all this put together. And watch. Let's say it's like a table, a chair, and a chair. Most people would sit across and they would be like, okay, let me show you what I got and they'll go over it. No ways. If I can put my arm around you, I will close you. Hand distance of putting my arm around you, you can't get away from me. No ways. Tell me I can't do it, you're full of shit. If I can get next to you, I call it knee to knee. 
Because if I can get my knee next to you and I can get close to you, it's over. So what I would do is if I'm doing face-to-face -face presentation, no matter what it is, I'm like, hey, Luke, so check this out. A lot of my customers, when I'm going over this, they want to interrupt me and maybe ask me some questions you know, as we go along the way. Would it be okay if I kind of moved over here to kind of walk through it slowly? And then if you want to interrupt me, ask me any questions as we go. Is that okay? Awesome, Luke. Thanks, brother. I appreciate that. Boom. Dude, Luke, looking at me here, he can't, but he can't get away. Watch. Here, though, and then Luke's here, doesn't work. It feels weird. Everybody, Turn to the person next to you and put your arm around him. Hey, tell me that they can tell you no. Now look at them. Don't kiss them, okay? But tell me they can tell you no. Okay? All right. Watch this. If you're in a relationship, if Jackie asks something from me and she's across from me, right? Or if she's next to me and she puts her hand on me, watch. There's something about, like, if I'm talking to you, and I'm like, dude, does that make sense? It's like me just barely touching you creates energy between us as human beings. Do you guys get it? Yeah. Listen, I'm going to explain something. I said when I started training today, this message was only for the one percenters. There are people, and I don't understand it, but that will still fight me to this day and I have a huge year today, and I'm killing it, and they'll say, no, nah, I don't do it that way, bro. And you know what works the fastest? This is the shortcut. You guys want the shortcut? Yeah. Model proven practices. If someone tells you who has been where you want to go, if I want to go here, I am really good at sales. I'm really good at building a business. I'm really good at building culture. I'm really good at transforming my life. And I can do it to others. If I tell you to do this, do it. Just do it. And guess what? It's going to cost money. Guys, no, rule number one about self-development, you must get it out of the way very early. You must slay this dragon internally with yourself. There is a thing called an amygdala inside of you where every time you go to spend money or go to do this, it goes and says, oh, man, you don't have to do this, bro. Come on, man. You know, you already got enough information. You're good, dude. You don't have to go back out there. You don't have enough time. It, it tries to get you not to do it, right? I want to tell every single one of you, the cost of you not self-developing in yourself, the cost of you not, not doing it, not. If you don't do it, if you stay the same, what does your life look like? Right now. Bye. Go back to your life. Same life until they bury you, or maybe worse. Oh, you might get a little flash in the pan a couple years where you make some money. You're f***ing out, bro. You want to go to the top? Every time you get an opportunity to write a check to somebody that can teach you something you don't know, cut the f***ing check as fast as you can. Okay, I wrote this down. Frame the client's brain to think differently. Frame, frame the client's brain to think differently. Oh, I don't need solar. I'm not interested. Hey, I totally understand. Hypothetically, 15 years ago, do you remember when gas was a dollar a gallon? Do you remember? How old are you? You weren't alive. How old are you? You're alive. Who's 40 years old? Remember when gas was a dollar a gallon? Yeah, it was 90 cents. When it was 90 cents, if I would have knocked on your door and told you that gas is going to go to $6 a gallon, but if you sign this right now, when it goes to $6 a gallon, you can keep paying 90 cents and your neighbor's going to pay six bucks. If it was going, if there was an option to do it, would you have done it? But I bet if I would have knocked on your door and I would have told you gas is going to six dollars a gallon, you probably wouldn't have believed me, would you? So you probably wouldn't have signed it, would you? Did you see gas go from a dollar to six? Okay, I bet you wish someone would have showed up. Now knowing what you know, they knew that you needed gas to drive your car. If they raised that, you had to pay it or else you couldn't drive your car. So we've learned that the government, anything they know that we have to have, they can charge us whatever we want and we have to pay for it. Am I right? If, I, if they cut your energy off, right? If, they, if they, your energy bill right now is $500, if they tripled your energy bill, tripled it, quadrupled it, whatever they wanted, you would have to pay it or they'd cut it off and you'd have to run your house off candles. Am I right? Would you ever run your house off candles? No. no. You'd go without hot water? No. You're going to pay whatever they say or else you're gonna become inflation proof, save money and you're gonna get solar. And that way you can't get taken advantage of like they did with gas, with energy. 
They know that you have to have energy until you die. Do you know that you have to have energy until you die? Do you want energy until you die? Do you want to beat inflation? I'm giving you an opportunity that you didn't have with gas that you wish you had, but you can do it now with your energy. Where does he sign? No. Oh. Watch. Do you, do you guys understand? Do you guys get it? Yep. Yes. Do I sell solar? No. I framed his ass. You get it? <laughs> can you do this with your product? Yes. yes, you can. Every one of you can. Frame the client's brain to think differently. Be in control and guide the thinking for them with deadly communication. Okay? You guys speak for a living? You must be great at it. What's written will be retained. I would be writing this down as I'm explaining it. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true .000 one percenters. Look, I know one percenters, it can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I want to get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I want to roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link. It says, coach with me one-on-one. -on -one. Okay? If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, Click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.